Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 25 verses 4 to 5 from the New Living Translation and it reads as follows. Remove the impurities from silver and the sterling will be ready for the silversmith. Remove the wicked from the king's court and his reign will be made secure by justice. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? And I believe this portion of scripture can be taken many ways. If we look at the latter portion of the scripture, it says, remove the wicked from the king's court and his reign will be made secure by justice. And that can be taken so true as well. Any ruler, any king, any president or anything like that, that have wicked people in their, in their court, what's going to happen? Their, their reign is going to be cut short. Uh, they're they're going to make bad decisions because they their hands are tied because of these wicked evil people that are making decisions and pulling strings and all these kinds of things. A prime example, whether you like him or not, would be pre- the previous president Donald Trump, who I believe his reign was cut short because he didn't stand a second term because of the people that he had surrounded himself with in Parliament. He had he had surrounded himself with people that were Democrats and with uh, Democrats in disguise as Republicans and all these kinds of things he surrounded himself with the wrong people and consequently that cut his reign short and that's why he didn't sit in a second term in the office of president of the united states of america family and that's just a practical example of how true this is family any person that is in a position of authority that has surrounded themselves with wicked evil people with people who have their own evil agendas and all these kinds of things their reign is going to be cut short then if it's a boss they're going to get fired or whatever it may be they might make bad decisions which is why it's imperative that if you are in a position of leadership that you surround yourself with good and godly people whom you can trust because when you do this as it says that your reign will be made secure when these people are removed from your court when these people are removed from your council and if we go and look at the former portion of the scripture it says remove the impurities from silver and the sterling will be ready for the silversmith now that's obviously speaking literally about removing the impurities from silver and the variety from the silversmith. But I believe we can also take that metaphorically in the sense of us and our lives and the silversmith is the Lord. We are the silver in his hands and he molds us and shapes us into a beautiful piece of jewelry that can fit onto his hand that he can use us however he wants to family. But the thing is, as it says there, the impurities need to be removed so that we can be ready for the silversmith. The impurities in our lives need to be removed from our lives in order for God to be able to grow us, shape us, mold us, develop us, and transform us into the piece of beautiful piece of jewelry that He's created us to be. He's created us to be a beautiful piece of jewelry he, to to stand out, he, to fit perfectly on His hand, that our piece of jewelry can be on His hand while He's doing the things that He needs to do with us there. In other words, through us family. It's speaking about God's perfect plan, will, purpose, and path for our lives. We will walk in this, but we need to let go of the impurities. We need to let go of every weight that holds us back from running the race that the Lord has set before us so that we can run the race with excellence, so that we can be a piece of sterling silver without any impurities, without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or flaws, or anything like that. We must remember, family, the Bible says that Jesus is coming back for a glorious church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. That means means all these impurities need to be removed from our lives before Jesus returns. And the beautiful thing is that you probably sitting there thinking it's, it's, that sounds quite difficult. But the beautiful thing is he's given us his Holy Spirit living within us that enables us to walk free from these things. But it is our responsibility to desire to be set free from these things. It is our responsibility to renew our minds continuously by spending time in the word of God. And instead of spending time in the things of this world, watching Netflix and listening to worldly music and all these kinds of things, we need to allow our minds to be renewed so that our hearts can be renewed. And as our hearts are renewed, we will start making right decisions that will line up with God's word, that will line up with God's ways. And those impurities in our lives will naturally start falling away. When I came to the Lord, things like swearing and drinking and smoking marijuana were things that I used to love doing. And they just naturally fell away. I didn't even think about letting these things go. They just happen to disappear as I continue to press in and pursue God. And I want to encourage you to do just that, family. Seek God. Seek Him with all your heart and watch how all of those impurities will be left behind. How you will then be a pure piece of silver for the Lord to mold you into the ring that He's created you to be the beautiful piece of jewelry so that He can use you mightily as you fit onto His hand as He uses you. So I want to encourage you, family. Get yourself 
Get rid of all impurities in your life, family. And if you're in a position of leadership, get rid of all impurities in your court, in the king's court, so that your reign can stay on, so that you can continue to do the work that the Lord has set before you. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day. This is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word. Lord, and I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, that you will help us to apply this, Lord. Lord, if we're in a position of leadership, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will help us to seek your counsel, Lord, so that we can remove from our counsel anyone that is wicked, anybody that has evil, selfish and agendas at heart, Lord. Help us to remove them from our court, Lord, so that we can go forward to be the leaders that you've created us to be. Be, Lord, that we can ha- be surrounded by wise and Christian counsel, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that as we continue forward in our lives, Lord, that any impurities that are in us, Lord, that as we continue to press in and pursue you and pursue your plan for our lives, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that those impurities just start falling off of us, Lord, so that we can be made into a beautiful piece of jewelry that fits perfectly on your hand for you to use us mightily. And we give you, Lord, all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook. Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says given. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.